Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho. This is going to be more of a Saturn update video. Uh, it's I've had this Saturn view for months, trying to figure out what would be considered a glitch in the, in the system. Um, best way to explain it, it's hard to, to articulate some of this stuff, some of this computer stuff, so best way to explain it is to start off like this here we go 2003 saturn view and as you know especially if you're a view owner they come with quite a few computer and electrical problems i'm very familiar with and have repaired a few times in the past the bcm an anti-theft issue um, I fixed the anti-theft issue by replacing both the BCM computer and then also by replacing the sensor that lies in the ignition switch, <clears throat> that whole assembly. And I have videos uh, concerning that and that's actually why this Saturn view came to me. Now this Saturn view actually does not have an issue with starting. It will start and it will idle all day long. So. The issue that we ended up ultimately having on this Saturn is while driving, you couldn't go any further than a couple miles. And what would happen is you would all of a sudden feel like you've lost all power in your accelerator pedal, uh, used to be known as a gas pedal. Uh, that's no longer responsive. The vehicle will power down. The vehicle will downshift and um, the lights on the dash will go crazy. Everything in, in, in here will go crazy. And then all of a sudden, while you're driving, and this is gonna happen while you're driving, and then all of a sudden while you're driving, just as fast as you lose control every, uh, of everything. Now the one thing you won't lose control of is your power steering, but uh, just as fast as you lose control of your throttle and everything else across the dash, all of a sudden, boom, it'll kick back on and you're driving down the road again only for it to happen again and again and again this uh this view would glitch out uh at any speed you know between zero miles an hour or but well now i take that back because sitting at idle it was just fine so you'd have to be traveling about five miles an hour or faster for it to glitch out act like it's gonna die and then all of a sudden just come back online so it, it was quite a bit of computer diagnosing. That's pretty much everything I did. It's taken me a couple months to get down to the bottom of it, but I finally did. Um, some of the things that I did first, though, was uh, we changed out the transmission uh, control module, which is right here. And then we also tried changing out the ECM uh, with a used one just to see if that would fix it, which is down down in here you have to remove the junction box and the battery and all that to get down in there we changed that out and the reason why we changed those out, those out this was more kind of a guess um this was changed out because one of the first codes that would that i had in the computer system uh was that the transmission control module requested a malfunction indicator light status from the ecm and that was basically the first and only code that I found in the OBD system. Now, I say OBD system because that's the generic onboard diagnostic system. Ultimately, in order to figure this one out, I had to get a couple computers together and I had to get one that allowed me to look at the factory <coughs> SRS codes and the factory Saturn original equipment manufacturing codes. And the vehicle also had to be driven for from what I understand quite a while because as I was diagnosing things like the BCM and the ECM and the transmission control module I was constantly resetting and re reprogramming everything from the anti-theft system to the ECM all that uh, relearning you know the transmission control and all that stuff every time I reset the system there was no problem with resetting the anti-theft module, the transmission control module. There, I, I, I didn't have any problems doing any of that manually, but as soon as you drove it, within the first five miles, boom, uh, glitch out and the thing would still act up. So, from, from there, uh, you know, I, I, I went through everything with a multimeter, you name it, and every time I thought, 
I got to a stopping point. Oh, I figured it out. It just never went all the way according to my fault tree analysis and all my data and whatnot. So for a while, we started giving up on it. And then through some research, started looking at the fly-by-wire accelerator system, which is going to consist of the accelerator pedal assembly okay now notice I say accelerator pedal because you know nowadays these are not gas pedals they don't control the fuel injectors or anything with the fuel pump or fuel they control the air intake and throttle body and, and all that other stuff so you've got the uh, accelerator pedal assembly right here okay and this has a sensor in it alright and it's not it's not connected to the throttle body you know necessarily by uh, cable anymore like they used to be it's connected by a wire okay and here's the computer for it and the sensor and system is is in here it's also going to be known as the APP sensor and again that's part of the accelerator assembly all right and then the other part of the fly-by-wire system is going to be on your throttle body and that's going to be in, all down inside of here. Maybe we can get the camera down inside of here and look. Okay, but bottom line is in order to change the sensor and the uh, electronic throttle body, you have to change the throttle body and then to change the sensor and the accelerator pedal, you have to change the accelerator pedal. So there's two sensors uh, for, for this system. Older systems only had one sensor and that was part of the throttle body. This one has two, one in the accelerator pedal, one under the hood. Now then, so going back to the symptoms, if you're driving your Saturn view and all of a sudden it just loses power, uh, downshifts and everything starts going haywire and just as fast as it does it, all of a sudden everything comes back online, look for certain codes. Now, the owner of this vehicle decided they wanted to take it and drive it. And so, you know, with the glitch in the system and all that other stuff, I, you know, obviously I have to be against that because it could be a danger to the driver and the people on the road, but they completely understood that. And so they took it and drove it for a week, and I'm glad they did because the onboard diagnostic system, the SRS system, and the factory system was able to collect a lot of data and I was able to finally pinpoint and narrow it down to the issues in the fly-by-wire accelerator system. I'm going to show you how that's going to play out now. So the first thing we're going to do is go into here. Let's go ahead and get our, get our computer hooked up now that I got all the data I need. You don't have to see the long boring stuff. We can just go straight to it now. So in order to do this, you're going to need uh, a computer that can read live data. You're going to need a computer that can read freeze frame data. And then also a computer that can uh, read multiple freeze frame data associated with each individual code. And uh, you should be good. I'm going to say just about any computer in the two to $600 range uh should should work out just fine so all right here we go i'm gonna pause it real quick okay so i want to go into the global obd2 system first that's going to be all the generic stuff that we can find uh, sorry about this glare but you know what? i'm gonna pause it for a second my camera light is on i'm gonna cover that up or turn it off I'll be right back all right this should make for a bit for a little bit better screenshot so right off the bat the first code <clears throat> that was triggered and stored in the system is a p2138 and remember so this is the global obd2 system Saturn this is everything that if you just have a generic obd2 plug-in and you're having an issue with your fly-by-wire accelerator system this is the code that you're gonna pull up that's gonna be a p2138 Accelerator pedal position sensor, APP sensor, one or two is not plausible. Okay. 
Now it says here, accelerator pedal assembly, which is that assembly that I showed you that's underneath the dash there, is damaged or it has failed. Now here's the freeze frame data. You may not be able to see here. Come on, camera. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, freeze frame data. Uh, here's the freeze frame data on it. And what I want to look at is engine RPM was 2,600. Vehicle speed was 16 miles an hour. Now, after that, the transmission control module requested malfunction indicator light illumination, which means it's requesting that this comes on. Uh, that's a very generic code. This code is triggered because the accelerator uh, sensor failed and the fly-by -wire, wire system, the communication system failed. Okay, and so when this fails, when that communication between the two fails, the vehicle either thinks that it's been shut off because it no longer can read this, it can no longer respond to this, so that's going to, at that point, cause all kinds of glitches in the system. And this is where a diagnosis like this can get difficult because you start with one thing and you find out you have four or five different codes. You have to kind of work your way through using the process of elimination and just kind of go through and knock everything out before you ultimately find the root of the problem. So the transmission control module requested malfunction indicator light you know, for as deep as we were getting into this diagnosis and as difficult as it was becoming the first go around, we went ahead and picked one up, changed it out, and obviously, well, that wasn't the problem. So, you know, we, we made sure we bought this stuff from people that we can return stuff from. And if you want to return it, return it, you know, just uh, just tell them, just be honest up front. Tell them, hey, I'm buying this used and hoping to use it for diagnostic purposes. If it doesn't work, can I return it? A lot of good businesses will allow you to do business like that. So, anyways, um, so so yeah, this code is a side effect or a symptom of the main issue, and that's that there's an issue in the accelerator pedal or the throttle body, and there's an issue with communication dropping off. All right, so let's go further. Now, the other OBD2 code that we have is a P1791. That is throttle pedal position si signal. So now we have two codes that are associated directly with the accelerator pedal. And again, this one is telling you accelerator pedal position, APP sensor one or two is not plausible. Sensor one is gonna be this side of the firewall in the pedal assembly. Sensor two is gonna be in the throttle body. And again, APP sensor connector is damaged, loose, or shorted. So all you need to do is just go underneath there and diagnose and check that. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it's still connected, all that other good stuff. Or accelerator pedal assembly is damaged or it has failed. Best bet is to go ahead and change the accelerator pedal. And again, for that exact same code or that code, Looks like we have the exact same freeze frame data. Vehicle is at 2800 RPM, 16 miles per hour. Now, what I believe is happening is the glitch is happening first. The vehicle is shutting down. We power down. We drop down to 30, 20, 10 miles per hour, depending on how fast you're going and what you're trying to do. And so this is when it's ultimately reading that issue. And then we go back again to the first one, accelerator pedal position sensor. And that's the signal. So now let's go ahead and compare that with our SRS system. Now then, this is going to be all of the side effects of the communication between the accelerator pedal and the throttle body dropping off. So we've got a U1024. Now these are Saturn codes. Lost communication with transmission control module. That right there is giving us the information we need to now know that the transmission control module requesting a mill status is a side effect of this issue right here. And then we'll keep on going. 
lost communication with body control module. This would be the answer for my owner as to why the anti-theft light clicks on and off and all that issue goes on, okay? Because at the time this drops off, everything else drops off. This is causing all the other systems to drop off. Lost communication with powertrain control module. Lost communication with instrument cluster. Again, uh, the reason why everything goes and freaks out when this happens. And so now, last but not least, we'll go into the Saturn. And we'll compare the OEM enhanced codes with the global OBD2 codes. And right off the bat, we get accelerator pedal position sensor. Okay, now this is per one of my SRS tests. And that's where the computer goes in and simulates things like highway driving. And then um, it will actually record the last quarter second of an engine's running history before the actual failure so it will record the failure and then it will record a quarter second before the failure and tell you what's going on there and so here the transmission control module request mill illumination says that the last test failed now that happened after the glitch between the accelerator pedal and the throttle body pedal happened so again proving that this is a symptom. Um, this is actually something not associated. P0532 air conditioner, refrigerant, pressure sensor, circuit, low voltage. Uh, the reason why that's like that is because there's no Freon in the system. The AC compressor leaks and we've already introduced Freon in the system once and it leaks it all back out out of the compressor. So that's something we'll have to address another time. Theft deterrent fuel enable signal not received. Now that's going to be because again, when the accelerator pedal drops off or the fly-by-wire accelerator system drops off, the BCM and everything else also drops off. This again proving that the anti-theft light and other stuff in the instrument panel is a symptom. And then there we go, throttle pedal position signal. Engine torque delivered to TCM signal. This we're not going to pay <clears throat> too much attention to. This is going to be a transmission control module issue. So again, that's going to be when the vehicle likes to downshift and drop its RPMs, drop its feed. Doesn't matter what you do down here. It just kicks into limp safety mode and you have control of your power steering, but you don't have control of any acceleration or anything like that. And then again, another accelerator pedal position sensor code, and we're up, we're back to the beginning. So there we go, folks. If you're having an issue, uh, this is not going to be an issue with starting up because again, it doesn't matter what you do, vehicle will start up. It'll rev. It'll run. Unless you have a computer that you can simulate highway driving through the system. It'll run, it'll work all day long. But, you know, you can even put it into gear and sit here. And it's going to idle and life's going to be good. But um, the second you start driving your Saturn view, it's going to glitch out. And it's going to act like you've lost... Uh, power it's gonna downshift it's gonna slow itself down you're not gonna have any control over the accelerator pedal and you're gonna have all kinds of funny lights and stuff going off and on along the dash if it starts doing that don't waste a whole lot of time see if you can rent a nice computer uh, go to Harbor Freight and buy one for about 200 bucks go to O'Reilly's and buy one for about three to four hundred dollars that'll do all the free stream data um, this computer, like I said, will even go in and uh, do the SRS test runs. It'll simulate high rate driving. It'll bring RPMs up, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. So 
if you have one of those, go ahead and go straight to the accelerator pedal and then also look into <clears throat> the throttle body. Now, we're going to go ahead because we don't have any codes that are associated with this sensor. Everything's associated with the accelerator position sensor, which again, that's going to be this whole assembly right here. So the whole accelerator pedal assembly right up into here, okay? This is what we're going to replace. And so there you go, folks. There's that diagnosis. Uh, I've ran this by all the powers that be that I've been working on this with me as well. And everybody concurs. I like that word concur. Uh, we all concur that that's what we're going to go ahead and do to fix this is replace the accelerator pedal assembly. So I'll give you an update once we get that figured out and let you know if that's, that's what the problem was. All right, everybody. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. Thanks for coming out and watching my videos and supporting me. Uh, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to replace uh, the secondary timing chain t tensioners on the Lincoln 3.9 liter engine. They're known to break because they're plastic. So we've got that coming up. And then uh, the, the Chrysler, that's another computer electrical glitch that um, hopefully I can get figured out here pretty soon and get that out of here. And I believe the Nissan that I've been working on for eternity, rebuilding the engine and everything across the board is soon to be out of here. So stay tuned. There's going to be quite a few uh, cool things coming up. All right, folks. Well, last but not least, uh, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.